Hello dear students, welcome to the lecture series of object oriented programming. In this lecture we are going to see uh, introduction to the standard template library with components and uh, the advantages of standard template library. At the end of this lecture you will be able to introduce STL that is standard template library. You will be able to understand the components of STL and you will be able to describe the uses of STL. What is STL that is standard template library? In 1990, Alexander and May of Harvard Pokward Laboratories extended C++ with a library of classes that is a data structure and the function templates that is algorithms. Now, this could be used as a standard approach for storing and processing of data. The collection of generic classes and functions is called as a standard template library that is STL. In 1994, the STL was adopted as a part of ANSI ISO standard C++ programming. STL components which are part of standard C++ library are defined in the namespace STL, that is namespace standard library. A working knowledge of template class is a prerequisite for working with standard template library. Let us see the components of standard template library. STL contains several components but it, it has three core components such as container, algorithms and iterators. STL is a general, generalized library and so its components are parameterized. The three components of STL work in conjunction with each other to provide a support to a variety of programming solutions. Algorithms employ the iterators to perform the operations stored in the containers. The operations are stored uh, in the form of maybe objects and so algorithms are applied with the help of iterator to perform the operation on these objects which are stored in the containers. Container. It is an object that actually stores the data. It is a way data is organized in a memory. The STL container are implemented by a template class and so it can be easily customized. customized to hold the different types of data. For example, DQ, list, that is double link list, vector, which is similar to C array but dynamic, map, and set, these are the different examples of containers. Algorithms, it is a procedure that is used to process the data contained in the containers. The HTL provides algorithms to handle common tasks such as initialization, searching, sorting, comparing, copying, merging, etc. Algorithms are implemented by the template class. Now the third component of STL is iterators. It is an object such as pointer that points to an element in the container. And algorithms use these uh, iterators, iterators that is pointers to point the element so that the data can be manipulated. The iterators are used to move through the contents of the containers. It is handled just like the pointers. Iterators can be incremented or decremented. They provide a general way of accessing each element in the sequential or associate containers. Iterators connect algorithms with the containers. They play the important role in the manipulation of data stored in the containers. Now let us see why we use or why we should use the standard template library. Using the standard template library can save time and effort and lead to the high quality program. We are reusing the well written and well tested components defined in the STL. It offers the collection of containers. The STL publicizes the time and storage complexity of its containers. The STL containers grow and shrink in a size automatically as well as the, pro the STL provides built-in algorithms for processing the containers. The STL provides the iterators that means pointers that make the containers and algorithms flexible and efficient for use. STL is an extensible which means that user can add new containers as well as algorithms such that STL algorithms can process STL containers as well as user defined containers. User defined algorithms can process STL containers as well as user defined containers. So the STL can be extended 
and uh, these are the different advantages of HTL. So we can use the standard template library. I hope you have understood the different components of standard template library that is algorithm, container and iterators that is pointers and you are now able to describe the HTL. So we will meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Happy learning.